Hi, my name is Michael McCarthy. I'm a travel writer whose articles appear in Canadian newspapers and magazines. I also write books and make documentaries. I've been lucky enough to go to remote destinations all over the world on tours and anti-poverty projects. But until recently, I didn't know that we had so many remote First Nations communities here in BC. It's like they're invisible. Why is that? Because their populations have been reduced. They're often very small and aren't marked on maps. Recently, I had the opportunity to visit several First Nations communities because of a project called Right to Read. Here's how it works. The Right to Read project is an Aboriginal literacy initiative to bring libraries to remote communities around British Columbia. It's a unique partnership between urban businesses and First Nations. Brico is proud to be a part of this project because this is something that's never been done before in the province of British Columbia. And who knows how far this can go. Literacy is always the key to changing communities for the better. Everywhere I've been in the world, getting books and computers into the hands of kids has made a profound difference in eradicating poverty. Right to Read has already built 12 libraries with many more requested. Kids are learning to use computers, so let's give them an assignment. We're going to donate cameras and ask the kids to become community reporters. The Digital Diary Project intends to give a voice to people from whom we've never heard before. And the students come here to use the computers for homework and research. It came on really quick, see, like the trailer got here one day and then the next day they had it set up and the next day we had the grand opening. <laughs> so where do we go from here? Connecting two different worlds is the key. In the Digital Diary Project, we'll hear from Native people about their hopes, their dreams and ambitions. Yes, my name is uh, Francis Lassis, I'm the chief of the Tusi Indian Band. I'm Naomi White, I'm the librarian at Kwasim Shan Academy. Uh, we have been partnered up with the Right to Read program, who are doing a one-of-a-kind library for our new school that is in progress. My name is Lawrence Lewis, I'm the nation manager with the Malahat First Nation. Uh, we've had a great uh, run of success or a great relationship with the Right to Read program uh, and the folks uh, with Rotary. Connecting two worlds is the key. Via the Digital Diary Project, we'll hear their stories, their hopes and dreams. I'm uh, Robin Mack. I'm a part of the Nittany Lake Paddle Club. Uh, we recently went to NAG. That was one of my goals, minor goals, but now one of my major goals is for me to go to the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo. Hi, I'm Peter Amos. I'm the uh, head coach of the Nittany Lake Paddle Club. Our, our needs right now would be um, kayaks and kayak paddles. We live in two worlds now ourselves, so we have to balance it because, because we want to live in our old world, but we live in today. The Right to Read project already has brought people together as diverse as Native people and the royal family. So it's with huge pleasure and honour that we pass these books to you for safekeeping in this library and we hope that the children will be able to enjoy them. Thank you so much for giving us the honour to be able to open this library along with the others and thank you to all of those that have contributed. One goal of the Digital Diary Project will also be to illustrate the delivery of libraries and the very remote communities that are served and the costs involved and the need for more people to get involved. Brico can't do this alone. Our role in the project is to supply the building. We need other companies to step in and help fill in the gap. Other companies have indeed stepped up. Hewlett Packard and London Drugs have donated computers. BC Ferries has helped with shipping. And now TELUS has joined to expand the scope of the project to teleconferencing. Hi, uh, my name is Erin Walker. I'm a Director of Community Investment within TELUS. Um, we're here today uh, touring the ground supporting the Right to Read program. And we're very enthusiastic and excited to be part of the, the Right to Read program um, and being able to bring connectivity and help support a literacy for Aboriginal and specifically Aboriginal youth. What has it meant to you? What does the library mean to you? It's very special. It's really special. Is it? What's the library mean to you? It's special. It's special? Because I like reading. Because you like reading. Well, thank you, girls. And what do we say? Can we say thank you to everyone? Thank you. The Digital Diary Project will show you a whole new world and the ways that you can get involved. Coming your way soon on Optic TV, thanks to TELUS. See you soon.